Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are back on our development series where we have done ACLs in the last class. Now in the today's session, we are going to cover the second part of ACL where we will debug the ACLs and where we can write certain scripts on the ACLs. So for that, let me uh, open my instance, which is already open. Let me open again for you, which is dev 865 and I am on the next experience UI page. So if you are new to my channel, do subscribe and give the comment in the comment section how you like this video. So let's get started. In the last class, we have seen the operations performed on the ACLs, that is create, write, update, and delete CRUD operations, which we perform on the ACLs. Now today, what we are going to do is we are going to create an ACLs and how we can debug that ACLs. What ACLs running on what? For that, let me create a scenario for you. So we are on the incident table, I suppose. Yeah, I'll click on all. And you will notice I am system admin. I am system admin. And first of all, you have to elevate yourself to security admin. So if you don't elevate yourself to security admin, you will be not allowing to use an access control list that is an ACLs, which will restrict the table and restrict the way which you look at the table. So first of all, I will uh, elevate my role to security admin. OK, now we'll go to the incident table. Whenever any user who open this incident table who is having access to the incident record, for those, this email ID field will be read only. So a person will not be able to write only anything on the this particular column. So the question is, um, if a user who is not having admin role cannot write to email ID field, this is the requirement. I'm making it zoom to so that you can have a note. So if a user who is not having admin role cannot write to the email field, this is a requirement. So to achieve this, you can use an access control list. That's what we are going to write. Go back to service now. Make sure that you are elevating yourself. And here it should come as security admin. Now type ACL. Once you type ACL on the top, you will get this system security access control list. Open this. On the top, why I'm getting? Because I have made it as a favorite. See, if you don't make it as a favorite, you have to come down and search for your system security ACLs. There you go. Go back to the ACLs and click on new. Let's create a ACL on the table incident on a particular field called email ID. So what should be the type? As I told you, always 90% of the time the type should be record. Second option is Operation. What operation can to perform? Create, read, write, delete. Whenever a record is there. In this case, so we are going to use write operation. And admin override. You know that what is admin override? Admin can override. Admin will not follow your rule if you check this option. If you uncheck this option, admin it applies to admin as well. So I will uncheck this option so that admin can also see whether it is happening or not. And now name. This is a table name. This is a field name. The table name will be your table, which is nothing but your incident table, which I will be selecting now. Yeah. Incident and the field is. Email ID. So a person. Without having admin role. Cannot write an operation on the incident form on this particular field. So for them, it should be read only. Only admin can write something like this, whatever it is, at the rate gmail.com. OK, so this is the scenario. So I have put admin. I have not used condition. I can use a condition for active is true. I can put it, or I can write certain scripts over here. If I click on advanced section, I can write a script. So I will talk about a script in this session only. As of now, let's do this. Right click, save. First, let's uncheck this, then save. 
continue now only admin only admin can do a write operation on incident table on a field called email id so i am closing this incident and let me go back and type incident over here and let's click on create new there you go this field is not read only to me this field is write so i can write here xyz at the rate gmail.com like this we can do now what we can do next let me check any particular user in my service now table who is not having admin role i will assign only the basic role so that he can access incident table so there's a user called demo user which you can see over here which is already created and which role okay he is having a role called incident manager okay so he can access the incident table now let's go back click on impersonate demo underscore user there you go impersonate and now we are on the demo user profile i will close this i will close this i will close this i will close this everything i have closed now let's go back and type incident click on all you will notice he has access to all the incident let's open any record and you will notice this email id is field is read only for him so this is your ecl ecl restrict certain users based on certain condition based on the rules scripts and condition so here for him it is read only i have already created a, a script for uh, if he is not able to see the new button because i have already created a ecl so that he will not be able to create an record so that was there in the last video if you have seen that video that new button is not visible but still if i open any particular record this record this record this re this is fully read only read this it is closed that's the reason so let me open any record which is um, not closed let's say this is an on hold and you will notice still it is read only understood so this is the one where you can see ICL is working, but how you are so sure that my ECL is working over here? So there is a concept called ECL debugger, which we are going to see right now. So I will close this. Now we are going back to the ECL. So without this admin role, uh how we can suppose to write this kind of a requirement in form of a script so you have to click on this option called advanced section and here we are going to write a script so you can pause the video right now guys and tell me what kind of a script it is whether it is a client side scripting or server side scripting so you have to tell me in the comment section and the correct answer i will pick so basically guys here we are going to write a server side script now we will write so this kind of a script always remember let me tell you on the acl this always return answer so whatever i will do here i am checking whether a particular user is having admin role or not if it is having admin role i will return answer to true and false that's it so by default in the acl what is executed answer always we are checking the answer over here answer from where from the server what answer if a user is having a particular role or not and how we will check so if you have read the server side scripting from my video or any one videos on youtube you can check any one's video it's not compulsory that you will be checking my video but you should know the concept my motto is you should understand the concept how to get the current logged in user in service now server side scripting to gs what is gs glide system what is glide system it is an api what api do it's an interface between your server side it stands for the data from one one side to another side correct that's what an api does so gs is a global variable declared by service now it's all we have discussed in our scripting series so here i am going to write gs dot has rule 
has rule is a method over here. If you notice, this is the new uh, experience UI. So it is telling you all this information is a method. So how to close a method with a bracket and what it contain? It contain a string. So here we can write like this admin. I have to check this. So what I have to do? Convert your requirement into normal English. I have to convert into normal English. I will put if any current logged in user is having gs or uh, has rule admin, then go inside this and return the answer equal to true. That's it. If not, else answer false. You can do that with the help of ACS. So we are done this. We will remove this and we will save this. Okay. So once I save this, now the script will run, not the role part. Role is automatically taken care, which is nothing but SNC internal, a role which is given to the user. Whenever you join any organization, the basic role will be SNC. Join any organization, and the, when your report is created, this rule will be auto coming up. SNC internal. Now let's go back to our incident table. Am I able to do that? Click on create new. Inform me, it should be visible. Yes, I can edit this. So I can again go and type debugger. Come down. System security. Click come. Press the page. Yeah, it is running now. Close this window. Go back to our incident table, refresh the page. A bug option will be coming up. Now click on email ID. See? True. Now let's go back, impersonate the same user we selected, which is your demo user. Impersonate. And I will just refresh this page. We don't have access. Maybe let me go back and open like this. Yeah, see, false. Click on this. False, right operation. So, this is the use of ACL, guys. I hope you have learned a lot from this video. If you really like this video, do give us a thumbs up. And you can watch the part one of ACL. This is the second part of ACL. And this complete your ACL part. You can write any kind of a script. If you have any doubt on any place, on this part of our scripting, let me know. You can write anything over here on the server side. Like you can glide to the user table. You can get the value from there. And you can return the answer to true and false. Remember, you have to return it like this answer. OK, so that's all for today. And we'll meet in the next video, which will be your actionable outlook. Basically, this video is very requested for a lot of candidates. So I'm going to make this video very soon after this ACL is already completed the next video will be the outlook actionable icon so that's all for today thank you so much have a nice day